It says, and when the Sabbath was passed, and we know that the Sabbath was the day of rest, uh, Sabbath, uh, and you're saying that when the Sabbath had passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, had brought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. You know, because Jesus was killed right before the Sabbath, crucified, uh, right before the Sabbath, and they had to bury him with haste. And uh, because the Sabbath was about to begin, that, that lends it to the reason why it, uh, we uh, say Good Friday was the day that he was crucified, because he had to be put in the grave before uh, the Sabbath began. Sabbath literally began uh, that Friday at uh, 6 p.m. That was the start of a new day. And uh, so Jesus, according to the scriptures, he died and gave up the ghost at 3 p.m. So they had a few hours then, as you can see, to actually bury him and, and put him in the grave. So they didn't have time to fully embalm him give him a, a perfect burial. So, uh, because at the Sabbath, that was a day of rest. They could not do any labor. They could not do any work. So we see here then that, uh, and they brought sweet spices that they might uh, come and anoint him. So uh, these band of women uh, came to anoint Jesus and to, uh, to anoint his body to embalm his body. And um, one significant person who stands out here is Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene is the one who was the staunch supporter of Jesus because he had cast out seven devils out of her. And she uh, followed Jesus to the end. And um, as we, it's no secret, she was the first one to see Jesus even after he had risen from the grave. So she's very significant to the ministry of Jesus Christ, and she'll be significant as we move on through here in the scriptures. Now, the word resurrection, it really means to, to, to arising again to life. And that's what Jesus did. He rose again to life. Uh, that's where we get the word also to revive. So uh, uh, to revive. In order to, to revive, you had to be alive uh, prior to. And that's what uh, some people mistake revival when they talk about for the church. Uh, the church is having a revival. They really think that it's for people that are outside of the church. But it's really for people that are in the church, that, that have been uh, 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 saved, but uh, need a spiritual infusion of, of, of strength. So that's, the, that's where we get the, the term resurrection. That's where we get the term revival. It's a rising again. And Jesus, he was literally risen again from the grave. He was alive, he died, and he rose again. All right, so we see here then, they came uh, on the Sabbath. Um, uh, they brought spices to anoint Jesus, to embalm his body. And 16 and 2, notice this is, and very early in the morning, the first day of the week, the first day of the week is Sunday, is Sunday. First, the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the first day of the week. And they came unto the sepulcher at the rising of the sun. So it tells you um, that it was Sunday, early in the morning, when the sun began to rise. So the Bible says, and they said among themselves, who shall roll 
us away the stone from the door of the sepulchre. So they were, they were, they, as you know, that the scripture says that they put a stone in front of the sepulchre because they didn't want uh, Jesus' disciples to come and steal the body and uh, uh, make the report that, that he is alive. And uh, it's, in, in the book of Matthew, it talks about how uh, this incident happened and Jesus had risen and they had literally uh, uh, paid people or one of those who were watching the grave to report that uh, uh, his, his disciples had took him away. Not, not that he had risen, they were, they were trying to fabricate a story that he had been taken away. So we see it in, then, uh, uh, verse number four. It says, and when they, when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away and it was very great. Amen. Supernatural things that happened. Uh, the scripture is going to tell us that, that some angels were there and they had rolled away the stone. And notice then, uh, verse number five. And entering into the sepulcher, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long red white garment, and they were afraid, they were affrighted. So the angel uh, of the Lord was, was there in the tomb. Some other scripture says the, the, the angel was uh, sitting upon the rock, but you know, they, they were there. And the, the, they were clothed with bright garments. And, and they were afraid because they didn't, they didn't know what was going on. And fear had gripped their hearts. And we see it in them. And he said unto them, the angel, be not afraid, because he's telling them, don't be afraid. Notice, he says, ye see Jesus, which was crucified. Notice, he is risen. Amen. Those, that, that, that part of the scripture, that Mark 6 and 16, has so much power and authority in it. That, that it is a, a testament that Christ has risen from the grave. And notice, he said, he said unto them, these angels, these messengers, they, they are bringing uh, a word about the word. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And he said, ye see Jesus of Nazareth. That's who you're seeking. That's who you're looking for. Jesus of Nazareth. Uh, which was crucified. Now notice what he said. He, he, the one who was crucified, beat, wounded, uh, uh, had suffered. Uh, he, the one that was crucified, notice, he is risen. Uh, we have Matthew chapter number 16 and verse number 6. And our subject tonight is dealing with after the resurrection. After the resurrection. And, and the angel of the Lord, uh, there were two, but one spoke emphatically, amen, about the resurrection of Jesus. And uh, at the birth of Jesus, an angel spoke, that angel Gabriel, he spoke and told us that, and well, told Mary. <laughs> uh, might as well tell us. <laughs> told Mary, amen, that, 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 that she was, well, first he went to Joseph. Amen, told Joseph that don't be afraid to take unto thee Mary that wife because she's going to bring forth a son. Amen. Called his name Jesus. Went and told Mary the same exact thing. Uh, and then at the birth of Jesus, uh, when he was born in Bethlehem, in the manger, angels went and met with the shepherds and told them, go uh, 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 to a place and, and, and 
follow the star and you'll see Jesus. Amen? So, so it's fitting here that, that the angels would speak about his resurrection to announce the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And that's significant because God uh, had a, is sending a representative to announce, amen, the, 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 the king has risen. Amen? Hallelujah. And, 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 as, and as John the Baptist uh, was anointed with the Holy Ghost, he announced, Behold, the Lamb of God that take away the sins of the world. God is consistent, amen, in announcing this great event. Uh, and so we should recognize the greatness of this event. Uh, and not and not and not and not say that we do, but 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 and not diminish it in any means. Because if he had not gotten up from the grave, the Bible says we would still be yet dead in our sins. If he had not gotten up from the grave, uh, we had we would have nothing to boast about. Uh, all of his labor would be in vain. But because he got up. Uh, all power is extended to you and I uh, because he died in our place and he rose in our place uh, so that we can live uh, with him throughout eternity. Amen? Amen. Amen. Uh, so, so the angels, uh, verse uh, uh, Mark 16 and 6, he said, and he said unto them, uh, be not afraid, don't be afraid. No, ye see Jesus of Nazareth. And he, and he uses his name, Jesus of Nazareth, because there was a, a, lot, a lot of people that were named Jesus. Mark chapter 16 and verse number 6. And he says, uh, uh, Notice, which was crucified. Uh, he was crucified. And notice his next statement. He is risen. <laughs> Hallelujah. He got up. He got up from the grave. And, and, and he got up with all power. He got up with all authority. And, and before he got up, he was in a mission. He preached to the souls that were in hell. Huh? The Bible says he led captivity captive, and he gave good gifts unto men. So we see here, he, he is risen. He is not here. <laughs> Uh, why? Because he's, he's, he's somewhere doing some good. <laughs> he's anointed. He's, he's not here. He's not in this grave. Uh, he's not in this tomb. Thank God. He's not in here. Uh, behold, the place where they laid him. Now, it's important uh, because that's the whole theme of this Bible study. Uh, to, to behold, he says, the place where they laid him. Uh, 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 Mary Magdalene and, and, and this other Mary, the mother of James and, and Solomon, they were witnesses to the fact that Christ had gotten up out of the grave. Uh, God, God wants us to be witnesses of the fact of the resurrection of Christ. And he wanted his disciples uh, to, to, to Witness to the fact that he had gotten up. Why? Because there were lies that were being told. That the disciples had stole the body uh, and, and took him away. Uh, that, that, that people uh, were paid suborn liars, lying about Jesus Christ. And it's important that, that there be a witness to the power of Jesus Christ. No, when, when, uh, let's go over here real quick to the book of Acts. Y'all hold that real quick. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, Acts, uh, chapter number one. We have it. Say it again. Yeah. All right, it says Acts, chapter number one. He says, The former trees have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus. Both began, 
that all that Jesus began both to do and teach, until the day he was taken up, after that he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom also, note, he showed himself alive after his passions, and that word passions means sufferings, after his sufferings by what? Many infallible proofs. <laughs> I'll be because they were going to carry this gospel. Huh? He showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them for forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. He preached uh, after his resurrection the things that pertain to the kingdom of God. And being assembled together with them, notice, he commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, which, which said he, ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized you with water, but notice, ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not many days hence. Thank you, Lord. And then the scripture goes on to say, uh, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore the kingdom, uh, uh, restore again the kingdom of Israel? Uh, verse 17, and he said unto them, notice, this is why we're here. It is not for you to know the times and the seasons which the Father has placed in his own power. Verse 18. Verse 8. But ye shall receive power. Amen. Uh, in Jesus' name is possible. Uh, after his resurrection. Uh, those that believe in him have power. Uh, don't fool yourself. <laughs> uh, ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. That's why he wanted them to go to Jerusalem and tear it to in that upper room to wait. And ye shall be, here we are, witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, in Judea, and, uh, and Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Those, I'm saying, receive the Holy Ghost, the witness of Christ in you, which is the hope of glory, that empowers you yeah. uh, to be a witness for Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, you have to be, we have to be witnesses of what? His resurrection. Uh, first and foremost, yeah. we have to be a witness that he got up. Uh, and how? Uh, uh, he, how do we become that witness? By living in his authority. Living in his power. In other words, let We are. 
escape, made a way to deliver you out of it already. Already. It's just a matter of you walking through. He already knows what every one of us is going to go through. Yeah. But it's just a matter of us just walking through. Yeah. And he's, the way is already made. It's already made. Deliverance is already there. Yeah. Victory is already there. Ah, it's just already. a matter of you getting it. Yeah. And, and, and that happens when you trust in the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. And these are these are timeless truths that 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 that, that equate to God's personality and who He is, yeah. and He cannot change from that no. uh, because that's who He is. It's scary. <laughs> yeah. He keeps faith. Yes, He is. <laughs> First lady. One sister I talked to on the phone today, that's the very next thing I told her. What? I said, you oh. gotta go through things in life. Uh-huh. I said, we all gotta go through some things. I yeah. said, that's how we go through it. Right? Yeah. I said, we all gotta go through some uh, yeah. tests and trials. Yeah. Yeah. I said, that's how we go through it. I said, we never know what we gotta go through on this road. That's yeah. Right. I said, but hey, whatever it is, we gotta go through it. I said, but God will see us through. He'll see us through. Yeah, I said, but if you don't, I said, you still got to trust him. Yeah, yeah, I got it. You know, the best thing, the, the trouble here, we should say, God, you're trying to get my attention. Uh, uh, and, then, and then go after him like that. Uh, Lord, what are you trying to show? Uh, you, you want my attention. Uh, and, 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 and Lord, what are you trying to do? Uh, because because every Yeah. Uh, 
the devil gets in one ear uh -huh. and start telling us what we can do right. and how the Lord really feels about you. Yeah. He is a, an accuser of the brother. Yeah. But on the other hand, that word will stand up. You stand up. Uh, the Bible said, when the enemy comes in like a flood, yeah. uh, his yeah. word will stand up. Yeah. And that's how we fight them. That's how we fight It's with the word of God. With the word of God. Uh, that's the armor. Uh, that word is the whole armor of God. The whole armor connects to that word. Hallelujah. Uh, and the more words you know, the stronger you are. Uh, uh, and, and the more words you know and live by, the greater you are. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, notice how you use two tenses there. Uh, stronger and greater. Uh, uh, if you want to be great, uh, know that.
to Mary Magdalene. God, why? Because she was devoted. She was in the right place at the right time. Amen. She loved the Lord uh, with all her heart. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. My God. So she uh, was the first, uh, I said, evangelist <laughs> to tell about Jesus. Now, no. Out of her was cast out seven devils. No, verse number 10. And she went and told them that he had been, that, oh, uh, my God, you too sad. Will you read from <laughs> here? <laughs> and she went and told them that he had been with him. Uh huh. Is that it? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. And she went and told them that had been with him as they mourned and wept. Alright, so she went and told the disciples. Uh, she went and told them. Amen. Uh, them that had been with Jesus as they were known. They were mourning. They were weeping. Uh, uh, because they, they, they had felt like they had lost all hope. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And the Bible says, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Uh, they, they should have received the comforting news about the Savior and risen. Uh, uh, but it was the opposite, as we see here. All right. Read. 11. Uh huh. And, and they, when they had heard that he was alive, we in Mark chapter number 16 and verse number 11. And they, when they had heard that he was alive and had, had been seen of her, believed not. Uh, now that's an issue. That's the reason why Jesus showed himself alive. Uh, uh, for, for those 40 days. Uh, and, and giving him and showing him many infallible proofs. Why? Because we were going to believe on them on him through their word. Huh? And for them not to believe that he was alive, that's devastating to the gospel. You know, uh, I'm gonna say it like this. Uh, you talk about a stumbling block. Their unbelief and their grief could have been a stumbling block for all of us and the plan of God. Uh, but notice the great care of Jesus Christ. He showed himself to them in took 40 days. Uh, for to truly convince them that he has risen and that uh, John in his gospel uh, uh, let, let's go there for a quick second. Hold that. John John chapter 20 in verse 29 Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Yeah. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. Uh, now, now, Thomas, Jesus showed himself alive to him, and he said, you blessed, Thomas, you know, but blessed, oh, that Thomas is here too. <laughs> <laughs> he said, blessed are they that Huh? But what? Believe. Yet believe. I believe. And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, uh -huh. which are not written in this book. So, so Jesus was trying to convince them because of the, the, the weight of their mission. Huh? The weight of, of, their, of their assignment. So that, so that they would believe. Uh, every test, every trial that you go through personally uh, is, is given up to you so that, so that you might believe and be a witness to somebody else. Yeah. Uh, so why? 
They was with Jesus. Yeah, they. they was with him. They walked with him. They, they talked did. with him. Yeah. But yet they didn't believe. They didn't believe. My God. And we had never seen Jesus. Oh, closer. We have never seen him. Oh, yet we believe. Yet we believe. What a blessing. And he has to have faithful witnesses in all conditions. When, when, when the Lord sent Moses to Egypt to represent him before Pharaoh, and y'all know all those plagues that happened, uh, all those plagues represented gods that they worship. Uh, so God was, was using Moses as a witness to, to, to show that I am that I am. Uh, over every God that you worship, uh, I'm greater. Uh, uh, so every situation, uh, God, God got some rich people that are saved to the uttermost. God got some middle class people that are saved to the uttermost. God got some poor people that are saved to the uttermost. God got some healed folk. God got some uh, 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 sick folk. Uh, on Sunday, kind of ringing in my 
your mind. Uh, uh, let the, all the others fade away. Uh, and then there's only you. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, uh, all the others are gone. Fade away. Uh,
long as you live the way I think you should live, or as long as you don't do what I don't think you should do, or go where I think you should go, I love you. Mm -hmm. And don't wear no pants, and don't wear no jewelry, and don't wear no makeup and lipstick. Oh, I love you. But the minute you put it on, or you do something contrary to what they think you should be doing, then you're no longer the love. My God. My God. But Jesus loves us no matter what. No matter what. Yeah. My God. And a lot of people will leave the church God. because of how people treat them. But you didn't come here. People didn't bring you to the church. People didn't give you the Holy Ghost. People didn't save you. They didn't give you the joy and the love and the and the happiness that you have. Jesus gave it to you. He did. So if Jesus didn't do nothing to you, why are you leaving the church? Uh, thank you, Lord. You got. You got. And this is no. This is no. This is no secret. You got the physical church. Yeah. You got the spiritual church. Right. Huh? In the physical church, you gonna have all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Huh? But in the spiritual church, you gonna have two holiness. That's right. right. That's right. And we see that even in the Old Testament. If you look at the Old Testament kingdom, huh? They had a bunch of mess going on. Yeah. Huh? But there was still somebody in the righteous. Yeah, somebody right. still living holy. Yeah. And God. He did not forsake them. No. Uh, uh, the physical church. Yeah. Uh, he didn't forsake them. No. Uh, why? Because he saw it as a beer uh, to bring people into uh, the spiritual church. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, this, thing is, this, thing is, this thing is right. It is. Uh, and if, if we see it like that, uh, and understand it like that, a lot of them beat and the tear and go together. Right. Huh? Uh, heal something. Yeah. Heal the yeah. body. Huh? You just be whole. Yeah. Huh? As he is whole. Yeah. Uh, thank you. And, and we all make mistakes. Yeah. Huh? Thank you, Lord. And, and, and when we make mistakes, have problems, we have to come to the Lord. Ask the Lord to help us. Yeah. Huh? And, 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 and don't be like Judas. Judas, he realized that he betrayed Christ. Yeah. He tried to make amends. The Bible said he even repented. And he showed acts of repentance by trying to return the money. Yeah. Huh? But he didn't allow the grace and the love of God huh, to enter into his heart. Uh, he took his own body. Yeah. Uh, gave his, uh, committed suicide. Yeah. Uh, you better allow God's 